This question asked us to solve the following homogeneous equation. y double prime minus 4y prime plus 8y equals 0, and I'm given two initial conditions, y of 0 equals 0 and y prime of 0 equals 1. So I'm going to use Laplace transforms to solve for y. And let's just get started. I want to take the Laplace transform of each term. So let's start with y double prime. So let's recall kind of the general formula for a Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function. So it's s squared times capital Y of s, which is just the Laplace transform of y, minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And I'm given both of those initial conditions, so let's go ahead and fill those in. This term drops out to be a 0, and this becomes just subtracting 1. All right, now let's do 4y prime. So 4 is a constant, and it's just going to carry through. But again, I have kind of a general formula. Um, for how to find the Laplace transform of a first derivative. And that is s times y of s, which is again the Laplace transform of y, minus y of 0. Well, y of 0 is 0, so this term drops out. And the Laplace transform of 4y prime is just 4s y of s. And then plus transform of 8y, that's easy. 8 is a constant, it's going to carry through. And then I've just got 8y of s. So let's go ahead and put each of these Laplace transforms back into that original second order equation. So I have y prime minus, or excuse me, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 8y equals 0. So I want to solve for y of s. And the easiest way to do that is to get all of the y of s terms on one side. So first I need to move this negative 1 over to the other side. So I cheated a little bit, but I just added 1 to both sides, and now I can factor a y of s out of the left-hand side of the equation. And then I can just divide both sides of the equation by s squared minus 4s plus 8. So I have 1 over s squared minus 4s plus 8 equals y of s. Now I need to work on taking the inverse Laplace transform of this rational expression. So I don't really have anything that's a trinomial in the denominator, but I could separate it using uh, completing the square. So I have s squared minus 4s, and to make that a binomial squared, I want it to be plus 4. So And then I have that plus 4 that has to, you know, tag along. And then s squared minus 4s plus 4 factors to s minus 2 squared. And this uses theorem 1 from the textbook. So it's, this is like y of s minus a. So I know that y is going to be multiplied by e to the 2t. e to the 2x, excuse me. So let's think about this. 
just like 1 over x, s squared plus 4. That would be close to the inverse Laplace transform of, or the Laplace transform of sine of 2x. I just needed 2 on top. So I can switch that to a 2 by multiplying by 1 half, take the inverse Laplace transform, and I have 1 half Uh, sine of 2x. So I multiply that by e to the 2x to account for the shift that was there, and this is going to be my solution for the second order equation.